I don't know if you can see this. There was actually an earthquake around 10 minutes before I came out, so that was probably 20 minutes ago. Um, in the, oh, I don't know how many miles away, 50 miles maybe. Um, but I can see spikes. I don't know if you can see spikes. Oh, it's pretty hard to, hard to tell if you can see spikes. I can see them with my eyes on this. But I, I can't catch them. So I guess the best way to do this is to have a little slideshow, and I'll do that. I'll point out that this is a bunch of question marks because this was going too fast for the scope to determine the height of this. From here to here is 80 millivolts. So if some part of it goes off the, off the screen there, it produces these question marks. I have one at a different resolution that shows 101 millivolts, so I'll show you that later. Um, this, the, um, the time of the screen is at uh, 50 microseconds. And, um, and I'll just uh, go down the list. And these are just nice spikes. Beautiful, huh? That one must be a lot of rumbling. I, I mean, what, what could that be? Pretty tall. Really tall. Off the chart. Oh, this is the one. See, this one has uh, 107 millivolts. And that's the last one. So thank you, Bill, for making this suggestion that maybe some of what I was seeing was earthquake, or you just asked me how far away from Mount St. Helens I am. So this was not Mount St. Helens. This was at a place called Cedar Butte, uh, which is on I-90, I don't know, 50, 70 miles east of, uh, of Seattle. Cedar Butte. It was a 1.9, and it happened 10 minutes before I, maybe 20 minutes before I took these pictures.